Again, welcome to CS102 Introduction to Programming Using Java. This is Unit 2 Lab Work, which cover Chapter 2 of our course textbook, Data and Expressions. In this lab work, we are going to solve two questions using Java programming language. Our first question is to write a program that read three integers and print the average. Again, write a program that reads three values or integers and print the average. So first we start with a comment. The program name is average of three dot Java. So which means our main class name will be average of three. In this program, we are going to ask the user to enter an input. The input will be three values. So we are using the scanner class. So here we have import java.util.scanner. The scanner class allows us to get an input either from a keyboard or from a file. In this case, we are going to use the system.in, which means from the keyboard. So again, first we import our utility package, which is java.util.scanner class. Then we have our main class. Then inside our main class, we have our main method. Now this program is going to read three integers values, then print their average. So we declare three variables, num1, num2, num3. Again, the data type is int, and int means a whole number. Then our result will be, data type will be double, which means a decimal. The variable name is average. The reason why, again, we may have three values, for example, seven plus three plus 14 divided by three, the answer will have some decimal values. So that's why we make the average as, again, a decimal type, which is double. Again, we cover this in the lectures, and int is a whole number. Double means a decimal value. We can also use the float, which is also a decimal value. Now, the difference between the float and the double is the number of uh, precisions. Uh, they have number of decimal places. Normally, double have more decimal places than float. So we create our scanner object name scan. Again, the name can be any name. So we have scanner class scan equal to new scanner system.in. So now with this scan, object, we can ask a user to get an input. So first we have an instruction and we tell the user to enter the first number. So system.out.print, enter the first number. Then we use the scanner object scan dot nest int method. Now, if the data type is double, we can use nest double, nest float. So the nest int method allow us to enter a whole number into our variable name num1. We already declared the variable here, so we are using it. Then next, we are going to enter the second value. So we tell the user to enter the second value using the system.a.print. So we use scanner scan.nestInt assigned to num2. Again, the scanner object scan with the nestInt method make it possible for user to enter the input using keyboard. Then we also enter the third value. So we use the scan.nestInt, enter the third value. So those are our input. Again, chapter two, we are doing input, process, and output. So first we get our three inputs. Next we go to the process. The process here is to find the average value of the, of the three answers. So here we have the three inputs again. Then to find the average, it will be num1 plus num2 plus num3 divided by three. We want to keep the decimal places. So the result we get, we convert it to double because our average variable, the data type also is double. So that's our process to find the average of the three input values we enter. Then we are going to display our results. So we say the average is whatever the content of the average is. So here we can see 
The average is, is a string because it's in double quotation. That's why the color changed to green. But average here is a variable. So we are going to print the content of that variable. Whatever the content is, which is norm 1 plus norm 2 plus norm 3 divided by 3. Whatever the value is, is what is going to print. Now, if this average, I put it in a double quotation, then it's going to print the string average, not the content. Also in Java, we said in the lectures, we can use the plus to join a string and a value together. So this is not a, a plus for addition, but rather a point we normally call it a concate, a join operator to join the string and the value together. So that would be the conclusion of our first problem. Here, the question again said, we should ask a user to enter three values. So we import a scanner class so that we can create a scanner object and use the scanner object with the next int to get the three values. To find the average, we had all the three values divided by three. Then we display our result, which will be the average is whatever the value is. Now let's look at the second problem. Yeah, they say we should write a program that reads two floating point numbers and print their, print their sum, difference, and product. So again, we import a scanner class so that we can ask the user to enter the input using the keyboard, which means we're going to create a scanner object. This time, our input value is in decimal double. So which means here we are using the next double. So we have scanner.nest double, we get the first input, then scan.nest double again, we get the second input. Both values can be decimal value. Actually, they are decimal value. Now next, they say we should find the sum. So I'm going to add num1 plus num2. The difference, num1 minus num2. The product, num1 times num2. Now we can write arithmetic expression inside the, the argument of system dot r dot println. So here is just going to print the result. Or we can do the arithmetic operation outside the argument, like the previous question. Let's go here. Here we do the average outside and we print the result. Same thing, we can put the average formula here inside the argument. You now the parents are the parentheses, so it's up to us. So here we said in lectures, plus, minus, and asterisk means multiplication. Now, if you have a string on the left side or the right side and the value, plus we had as a concatenate operator or to join the operator. But here you can see we have num1, num2, we have two values. So the plus now is acting as arithmetic addition. Like the previous, we have plus average. The average is a value, but to the left, average is, is a string. So it's going to act as a join operator or concatenate. So here it's acting as arithmetic operation because left and right, we have values. Same thing with the difference and also the multiplication. So again, this program as a user to enter two decimal values, then we find the sum of the two decimal values, the difference of the two, and also the product of the two. So that will be the conclusion for these lectures and see you in the next lab week.